So I'm uh, Andre Archer, I'm the Territory Manager for Nelson Mulberry in the West Coast. Been my job to look after this for a project from the word go. It's been a real privilege. It's been great fun. It's a great build to be a part of. LV lock gate to PB2. You know, as we all know, water surety is a problem everywhere. So this dam's been designed as a essentially a battery lake. Flows out into the into the river and it's designed to ensure that flow year round because um, that uh, river is used to irrigate a lot of food producing on the Waimea Plains. So if it dries up, then it has to come out of the aquifer. They can keep a constant flow through the river in all seasons. It's better for everybody. It's, it's short, it's here, it's uh, constant, and your aquifer's not getting uh, drained. Yeah, so it's a great thing. Construction sort of got into full gear sort of mid-2019. Um, and you know, as you can imagine, this is a really big ship. It was up and running and then COVID hit. So. I mean that, you know, that hit in early 2020, so this whole big ship had to come to a stop. And when, when we got it rolling again, obviously our business was not immune to the global supply challenges. Um, so that just encouraged and made far more relevant the close partnership that we had with the team at Fulton Hogan Taylors here. So it was all about forecasting, forward ordering, project scoping, understanding what was needed and when, and getting the orders in the system to ensure that we supplied when we needed to supply. You know, it's a real tip of the hat to the team here on site. There's, you know, as you can imagine, there was plenty involved in, and the close partnership that we've had with them has ensured that we've, we've had no delays on the site. So here's the camera players down below. You can see My name is Zach Borman. I'm a site engineer for Fort Nogan here on the Waimea Community Dam. My role here, I've been assisting with the quality work and the site management of crews while building the concrete structures of the Waimea Dam. We started this project in 2019 and as we know in 2020 March, COVID hit pretty hard and we all got sent into lockdown. So initially this project was shut down for that period. But once we got our controls set up and we were deemed a critical infrastructure project supplying water for this region, we had to keep the project going and we were allowed permission by the government to keep this project going. Yeah, it was a big challenge during COVID, that, that's for sure. Those supply chains, especially overseas ones, were difficult. We still managed to keep the project going and uh, yeah, thanks to our suppliers like Ramsey at Reed, we were able to keep going here. Yeah, our dam here is a concrete face reinforced rock filled dam. A few of our concrete structures here, we have the, the spillway, so for a lot of the spillway and the concrete face, we use slip forming methods. So that's a method of pulling a screed up the concrete slope, pouring concrete in front of the screed, traveling over and then finishing it behind the screed. So our concrete face one, there was a 15 meter wide slip former and we slip formed about 76 meters long on the slope. And once we started that, we didn't stop. We did it all in one hit and it took multiple days of night shifts, day shifts, and I think the longest one, we started it on a Tuesday and we finished it on a Saturday morning. We use a lot of casting couplers, uh, reed casting couplers. Um, they just save on a lot of reinforcing, not having to install dowels and starters that take up a lot more room. And at anchors as such, we epoxy in bars using their product C8. It's it just saves on a lot of room and a lot of time with setting up these structures. Uh, another big one from Ramsey Reed that we've used are all their lifting anchors and lifting clutches. Yeah, behind us are the parapet wall panels, so they're the wave break for the dam. They were all precast and were lift, rotated and lifted in using uh, Ramset lifting anchors and clutches. So that took a lot of the engineering work and uh, some tight scheduling to get done. It was quite a fun challenge to do. So we're on site here today at Specialised Concrete Products, who are a precast partner with the Waimea Dam project and many others around the region. Brett, who's the manager here, he's been in the industry for about 35 years. He's been a Reed customer for most, if not all, of that time. So in that time, you know, as a partnership, we consider safety as our first priority in the business. And that's where the importance of our lift designs come in and our design engineering service. So 
as you can imagine, with anything of this scale, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong bad. You generally don't get a second chance. So that's, that's really the priority for us, as always, is safety. So there's a lot of trust in our engineering service. It's uh, hugely regarded around the country. When Brett has a project starting, he'll come to me. We'll liaise with what's required regarding the lifting methodology, if it's facelifters only or edge lifters or whatever it might be for requirements on site as well. We'll put that into the design portal. That then goes through to our team in Auckland who liaise with Brett during the design process and at the other end we, we print out a uh, lift design, a bespoke one for every panel in the project. My name's Hayden White. Um, I'm a contracts manager for SCP. Uh, and here we make precast concrete. Yeah, we were approached by uh, Fulton Hogan and Taylors about taking on the dam project. So we needed confidence from our subcontractors that we could really undertake it and reeds and lifters just have to come to the party with that um, to make sure we could achieve the project. So we manufactured 64 20 ton power pit walls for the top of the dam to stop any overflow from the top. Because it's so heavy, we need to not only build it, but we need to then extract it Air rotate it, transfer it 50 k's down the down the road to the dam and get it to the top of the dam. So we really needed to rely on reeds to provide us what lifters we needed, where to put them, and how it would hang in the air to make sure it went in straight and proper. So we really relied on them to do that, and we follow that to the letter because we know that reeds have engineered that plan to make sure it works in a safe and efficient manner. Especially with the Wyomere Dam, our relationship with reeds is extremely important. We've worked with them as long as I've ever been here. And when it comes to the dam, we really relied on them. So Andre is our rep here in Nelson, and he comes in regularly once a week. Ramsey provide us a range of products that we use here from uh, aluminium boxing, aluminium chamfer, but also the mushrooms and the, li the, the lifters, um, as well as all the clutches that fit on that. And on the dam, he gave us great advice of what lifters we need to use, how to use them, if we use their product, you know, we know it's engineered start to finish from putting it in the concrete to adding the clutch to lifting onto site. We know that they've covered all bases. It's taking a while, but it's finally filling it. So, uh, my name's Glenn Parks. I'm Key Account Manager for Ramset Reed in the South Island. So, we're just looking, uh, obviously, at our precast components um, that we uh, supplied the engineered lift design for. With our certified lift design, um, which is basically uh, from uh, design all the way through to installation, um, it provides the contractor with peace of mind um, that I've got a safety factor built in to the lifters that we provide uh, in the panels. So we work on a safety factor of three. So for the installation crew, um, the crane crew, so everyone around that um, hazardous zone at the time, are reassured that they've got that safety factor built in um, to the design. So gives them peace of mind on site from a health and safety perspective. We're really big on early engagement um, and project partnering, so we got involved um, with this project um, back in around sort of probably 2017, all the way through to its, um, its starting around 2019. So our early engagement piece was around um, our rebar connections at the time, our engineering offer, our value add. We basically had some uh, good specifications through our rebar componentry, um, which is you know, tried and true in, in New Zealand conditions. To be involved in a project of this scale, um, and who knows, probably one of the last dams to be constructed in New Zealand, it's immensely proud to um, have Ramset Reed uh, on this project, um, and you know, in partnerships with Fulton Hogan Taylors. You know, it's, it's been, I believe, over the last sort of five years, it's been a, um, a model of, you know, how projects should be, um, should be run. A whole suite of uh, Ramsey products was used um, throughout the build. We've done a summary of the, the products to date that we've used in the project, and there's over 15,000 individual reed components uh, there's over 1,200 tubes of C8, which works out to an excess of 500 litres. Uh, 2,500 uh, mechanical anchors, um, 27 tools, 200 different bits of carbide and core drill bits, uh, so it's been substantial. You know, it's an enormous sense of pride to have managed to have that continuity supply of something of that significance throughout the COVID uh, lockdown process. It speaks volumes to our 
our in-house teams in the background that often don't get a lot of the credit, you know, the purchasing and the warehousing teams and, and how hard they've worked as well to support the likes of me and, and the teams on the ground, you know, we, it's, a, it's a one team at Ramsey Reid for sure. Ramsey Reid have been a key part in getting this project over the line and done. They've been extremely helpful from the design of lifters to just needing some gear on speed urgently. I've called Andre before and I've received products the next day. He's been very great to me in that sense and a lot of, uh, a lot of structures on this job couldn't have been built to tie without him sending those products as quickly as he did. He was a man I could always call and reply that I'd get the gear the next day. I'm uh, very grateful for him actually. Ramset have been in the market for 70 years in New Zealand and you know, I think it's something you should be, we are immensely proud of. Um, you can't buy that sort of experience, that expertise. We've got people who have been in the business with us that, that are still here with us that have been here 30 years. You know, and um, basically if they don't know it, then nobody knows it. So it's, it's a real source of pride for us, for sure. Um, and with that, with that length of time comes a lot of knowledge. And, and we like to think that we've got the team to, to support. Absolutely. And especially working with the team from Fulton Hogan Taylor, they've been just the utmost professionals from the word go. You know, and it's been a really true partnership which is exactly what it needs to be for something of this scale. And, and just as a legacy, you know, to, to sit here and, and know that this is going to be serving our region for years to come to and have a little bit of a part to do with it. It's real sense of pride. It really is, yeah. <laughs>